Um, I submitted a portrait of a guy called Sanjavin, who um, he's an asylum seeker, and I was asked to do this portrait for Doctors of the World for an exhibition. Um, so it was a really sensitive portrait um, and something that meant a lot to me to be able to do it and to be able to make him feel relaxed and comfortable. Um, it was quite difficult to do because obviously I wanted him to take his shirt off and show his scars and and the evidence of the torture that he'd gone through but obviously he was quite a vulnerable man anyway so to ask him to sort of come over to my house and take his shirt off it was it was quite difficult to do um, but we got there and I just thought he was just so wonderful like a really gentle lovely man and he's like you know, confronting the camera and being confident enough to do that, but then all over his body you can see these scars of horrific torture that he's been through. Um, so I suppose out of a responsibility and gratitude to him, that's, that's the picture I felt most proud of that I took last year publicly. So it meant a lot to, to send it into Taylor, I think. So Doctors of the World first contacted me um, to ask me for some prints for um, a campaign they were running called Prints for Refugees, which is a, a great campaign where photographers um, donate prints and they raise money for, for the charity that way. Um, and then they wanted to um, celebrate a centre in Bethnal Green which works with, um, it works with refugees, asylum seekers, people that have been sex trafficked, like the most vulnerable people that turn up here that can't be seen by the NHS or by GPs and they slip through the net. Um, there's a clinic in Bethnal Green that sees these people and gets them registered with GPs and will treat them and, and, and get them the help they need. Um, so this clinic has been open for 10 years and they wanted to celebrate the work it's done by doing an exhibition. Um, so yeah, they, they contacted photographers and asked them if they'd take photos of either um, service providers, you know, the, the staff at the centre and of the people using the services. So they, they asked me if I'd do Sanjavin for that exhibition. Um, in the end, because his, his asylum claim was still going through, we had to use the back of his head for the exhibition, but, which still showed all the scarring on his back, but it was such a shame to kind of lose out on seeing his wonderful face. Um, portrait Salon to me is um, a complete saviour from feeling really rejected from the Taylor Wessing for 10 consecutive years um, and now I've been in Portrait Salon three years running so it's like yes I'm not a failure someone you know sees some worth in, in the projects and the work I'm, I'm making and it's just so nice to share them um, so yeah Portrait Salons gave given me like huge confidence and I always find when I walk around the exhibitions and look at other people's work I'm really proud of the other people that I'm being shown with and I sort of look at the work and think how can you know not just talking about my picture but I look at someone else's and think well how can that be rejected by anyone that's like the most beautiful portrait how can that end up in a reject pile? But obviously, you know, I'm not a judge and, I, and the thought of seeing thousands of images on one day it must be just so difficult to get to that final selection. There is no, there's no right way of doing it, but it's, yeah, the, the portrait salon scooping up all those failures and making, giving those people and that another chance to go through a round of judging. I just think it's brilliant. And um, yeah, it's worked really well for me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it means everything, really, because you, you don't really print so much out anymore. You know, you're constantly looking at stuff on the screen, you're looking at stuff on Instagram, and that's the way you're sharing stuff. You're not sharing stuff so much with prints. And it's, it's just so different to have the object and, and the really beautiful, high-quality paper that's really soft and the colours coming out. 
So to have the excuse of the Taylor Wessing and then those prints getting a chance to go to Portrait Salon, it's just like I kind of look forward to it every year that I'm actually going to get some prints done, my favourite portraits for myself really, you know, and of course I'm entering them and that's what it's for, but it's, it's just a great excuse to actually get some of your own work printed for no other reason than, you know, you want to see it big and, and done really professionally. So yeah, I, I, love, I love getting things printed.